So we're going to find the limit as h goes to 0 of a plus h to the quantity squared minus a squared all over h. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some algebra to see if we can simplify this. Because notice what happens if I plug in 0 immediately. H goes, both h's become 0 and I get a squared minus a squared which is 0 over 0 which is an indeterminate form. So a plus h, the quantity squared is a plus h times a plus h minus a squared all over h. One of the common mistakes on a problem like this is to just say that's a squared plus h squared. So be care of that, careful of that. It actually needs to be foiled out and you get a squared plus 2ah plus h squared minus a squared all over h. Notice what happens at this step. The a squareds are going to cancel. So when I go to write my next line, limit as h approaches 0, I can factor an h out of that numerator and I get h times 2a plus h over h. Those h's will cancel. Now I can insert 0 for h and I get a final answer of 2a.